Okay, so we've got a nice question here, which is uh, plotting a table of values. We've got a function here, y equals x squared minus 3x minus 2. And then we've got to fill in these gaps. Okay, so we've just got to put 5 in. So if you want to have a look, let's put 5 squared minus 3 times 5 minus 2. We'll come up with the answer 8 in here. Same thing with 2. 2 squared minus 3 times 2 minus 2 gives me minus 4. And then 0 squared, well this one's obvious, 0 minus 0, that's minus 2. Now this is the one where people fall down. People often just tap in minus 1 squared minus 3 times minus 1 minus 2. If we do that, that gives us the answer naught. But that's wrong. Because what that calculator is doing is doing the minus 1, is squaring the 1 and making negative. So if you want to do negatives, you've got to use your brackets. Minus 1 squared minus 3 lots of minus 1 minus 2. Technically you don't need that minus 1 in the middle, it will do it, but just making a point that when using negative numbers then you've got to make sure you're substituting it into the right place and then we get the answer 2. Now that is a much better answer because if we spot the pattern here we've got minus 4, minus 4, minus 2, minus 2, 2, 2, and that's because this is a quadratic, it's symmetrical, in this case it's symmetrical between 1 and 2, here there's our line of symmetry and all the answers are going to be the same in the side. Now we're going to go ahead and plot this on our graph Okay, so let's see where we are. So 5 goes to 8 up here. Let's put a point in there. 4 goes to 2. 3 goes to minus 2. We need to go down a little bit. to minus 4, 0 minus 2, and minus 1, 2. So you can see there's a pattern here that's symmetry. Now, you need to join this up now. It's quite difficult for me to do on the computer. I just want to write one point. When you do join this line up, it must dip below here. It doesn't flatten off at the bottom here. It's a nice smooth curve. So I'm going to attempt to do it, um, but don't blame me if it goes wrong. So it's got to come down. Oops. and then it's got to dip below here before it comes back up here now I've gone a bit wobbly here should be smoother than this and then I've slightly missed here that's a bit inaccurate you need to be more accurate than that and there okay so if we just have a look at our curve now it comes down it's relatively smooth and it's very important that it dips below here it does not flatten off like that so that's a bad thing to be doing so make sure you don't do that and make sure it dips below okay if it was one point where it's the lowest point it would dip at that lowest point but because there's two it must go below before it comes back up now i'm just going to go over the page because there's one last part of the question it says find a bit where it's the same graph and it's equal to zero now so let's go back let's have a look at our graph where does it cross it crosses here, you can see that, and it crosses here, you can see that, so we need to find the x values. That looks about, for me, it's 3.5, maybe just a bit more than that, and here it's minus 1.6. You have to read off where it's, your graph is, so x equals minus 1.6 or 3.5. The examiner is going to be looking to see that you've got two values, but you've also read them correctly off your graph. 